Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to show you guys how to switch back from sport mode to manual sport mode and back to sport mode. So this car, 2017 Honda Accord Sport CVT, there's three driving mode on this car. There's, there's regular drive, sport mode, and manual sport mode. If you want to go into sport mode, you just go all the way down to sport mode and now you're in sport mode but the thing with this sport mode it's still automatic you don't have to use the paddles which are these here on the steering wheel I have paddles right now it's automatic sport mode and basically what that is is it's regular driving just like when you're in D but the difference from automatic sport mode and regular driving you get an increase of power just because you're in sport mode and it opens up the throttle a little bit more now to get to manual sport mode all you basically do is you touch the paddles just just click the paddle now you're in manual mode and in manual mode now you have the ability to control the whole transmission from gear one gear two gear three and so on just like a regular stick shift car when you're in manual mode and you want to go back to automatic sport mode there's no button and there's no way to do it you have to come to a complete stop put your shifter back into drive and then bring it back into sport mode so now you notice the s is by itself there's no more manual mode so now you could drive this automatic in sport mode but once you touch the paddle again it goes into manual mode again and if you want to come out of it again you got to do that step again where you, you go into drive and you come back down into sport mode so that's how you switch back and forth from automatic mode and sport mode and also when you're in sport mode in manual sport mode all right now if, if you used to drive a stick shift car you will probably know what I'm talking about when I'm saying red line all right in a stick shift car you could red line gear one gear two to get like optimal power you know to do some serious burnout to do some drifts and all that and what I mean by red line is this part up here this is your red line area this is where you get the most power the most horsepower the most torque power is when you bring the needle up to here but at the same time it's more risk of damaging your engine because you're basically pushing it to the limits and the thing is with this car there's no such thing as redlining it, it sucks you, you can't do any burnouts with this car you can't do any drifting with this car even though it's front wheel drive I shouldn't even mention drifting but you guys know what I mean but when you drift you're gonna have to redline some gears and yeah with this car you cannot redline even if you're in sport manual mode once you bring this needle all the way up to the beginning of the red line once it touched the number seven seven thousand rpm it automatically shifts to the next gear so that you know you don't damage the engine or transmission it's a good thing i guess because the car is telling you hey man you're you're putting too much power and there's too much pressure you might destroy the engine or transmission so it'll automatically upshift for you to the next gear so that the rpm would drop again and you know it's good and it's bad it's good because again like I said it it saves your engine and your transmission it's bad because if you're a type of guy that you know likes to do burnouts and stuff like that then it's not gonna happen with this car because it automatically shifts for you I hope I uh, explain everything well I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to get at with this whole sport mode stuff and yeah if, if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to give it a thumbs up uh, make sure to subscribe for more hit the notification bell for the next video that's uploaded and just to be in tune with what I'm doing all right take it easy guys have a good one